I bought these RS8 knee braces a few years ago after injuring both my knees, as EVS claimed they were a good entry level knee brace. Unfortunately, they have been anything but. The first thing I noticed was the elastic straps are simply too weak to hold the leg properly, so they do nothing to prevent hyperextension of the leg. This also means they do nothing to prevent twisting or impact on the knee joint up through the lower leg, common causes of knee injuries. I also found out later that any proper knee brace always has two straps for the upper leg and two for the lower leg. The RS8 only has one strap for the upper leg. Generally, the whole design is very light and weak compared to a proper knee brace. It's hard to imagine these holding up well in any major impact. Also, the clips kept breaking. So often, I eventually got the distributor to mail me a bag full of them. He said this was going to get fixed on future models. Eventually, I tried creating my own longer straps to hold the RS8 more firmly, but another problem is it is simply too short on the upper leg to act as a proper knee brace. Any true knee brace goes further up the leg to help reduce hyperextension and twisting. Here are a few criteria for true knee braces. I put my own padding inside as the bottom of the RS8 kept digging into my shins on hyperextension, something I noticed online others were complaining about too, and with the RS9 version as well. Nowadays, the EVS feature the RS9 and the SX series as their budget knee braces, but as this review indicates, they are still simply expensive glorified knee guards. Calling all of these knee guards appears to me to be misleading advertising and all the other brands will name this entry level stuff as knee guards or knee supports, not knee braces. However, look I'm not just beating up on EVS, I will say that despite all of these problems I did buy EVS's proper knee braces, the web knee brace which did work well and for many years. I'll report on those another time.